Hello, my name is Valigan, and today I'm going to be bringing you a video on keybinds. And now, why are keybinds important? Keybinds are important in this game because they allow us to focus more on our piloting, keep ourselves alive, focus on separate abilities that you have to time and coordinate, and manage your buffs effectively. Keybinds also allow us uh, to achieve the maximum amount of damage output we can by quickly activating a lot of our abilities instead of having to manually click them. Manually clicking them takes a few seconds, you obviously to find, bring your mouse down to your key, move along and individually click them. If you have the bridge officer layout on, you have to go individually and keep finding your ability. So where do you start on keybinds? Well, a lot of people you might have heard in the past say bind everything to spacebar. This is true, but also not true. Many a times I've seen lots of people have 10,000 different abilities, a bit of exaggeration, but all linked to spacebar. And they also have their firing or their weapons linked to their spacebar, they're distributing their shields linked to their spacebar. It just makes your ship basically on autopilot, which is not the way to go. Before I go into key management, there's something we have to go over, and that is the management of the abilities universal cooldown. Every ability has an activation time, and your weapons are also synced up to the activation times of your abilities. So when you fire a rotation of your weapons, these will, you'll see them go through their cycle of a white clock and have numbers appear on, which is the current firing cycle, how many shots that has left if you're using something like Beamfire Will. Now every time your weapon fires, it also counts as an activation. They're very quick activations, but nevertheless, every time you activate an ability on top of your firing cycle, if the ability has a activation time, it will interrupt your firing cycle. This is the same for cannons and even torpedoes to some degree. So what do I mean by ability activation? Well, some of them are instant, like this chemocyte. Instantly activates. That will not interrupt my beam fire will cycle. Beam fire will is also instant. Things like tactical team take a few seconds for, well, a second and a half for it to actually activate and actively go on cooldown. You saw there, there was a brief couple of seconds or a second and a half that it wasn't actually activated. It has an activation time. And while tactical team is activating, it will interrupt your fire wheel cycle. Same with emergency power to weapons. It too has an activation time. It's not as long as tactical team, but it too has an activation time. So does buffs like tactical fleet. Again, it's not very long, but during a firing cycle, if you have many buffs being activated at the same time, along with in-game activation lag, when you're firing on opponents, you will start to notice a good second to a second and a half, two, even two seconds sometimes, between your ability activations. So you've got to keep this in mind when you're talking about spacebar. Now, right now, I will show you the keybinds, but I'm just going to show you the one big major keybind I have on this ship right now and it is my spacebar keybind. So right now if I press spacebar, it'll activate my tactical team and my emergency power to weapons. Then my chemo site and my beam fire will. And you see how the tactical team and the emergency power to weapons activated simultaneously, and yet the chemo site and beam fire will also activated simultaneously, but they're separated. I've done this by timing how I and when I press the spacebar, but it's to make myself available for when I go into combat, I have tactical team and emergency power to weapons activated before I fire my weapons. And then as I want to fire my weapons, I chemo and beam fire will with my spacebar. And I don't have to keep spamming my spacebar. All it's going to do is launch pets from now on and set them to attack. So that is my spacebar and I don't have to keep clicking it. My firing is not set to my spacebar. My buffs are set to small keybinds like Shift 1. My beta is on Shift 1. This also allows me to not have to click this. I should also have Shift 2, Shift 3, and Shift 4 for my other buffs, so I can quickly press those. You can also have Shift Spacebar for your buffs if you set this to like Tray 9 and have it when you hold down Shift and then press Spacebar, it does your buffs. But sometimes I don't always activate my buffs in this order, so I prefer to have them individual. The rest of the abilities I do click, because I want to privately manage them, but if you are good with keybinds then you can also keybind these too. 
The small keybinds like Shift 1, 2 and 3, all you have to do is go to your settings and go to keybinds, scroll on down and you will find your skill trays. So you find skill 1 of tray 1. So this is the first row, so this is tray 1 if I click on this button here. This is tray 1 right here. Uh, these abilities should not be in here. But these you can have your own setup. So you could have one, for example, two, three, and four activate abilities on tray one, while you have another tray doing spacebar. So you could have your buffs on one if you want, and have them go one, two, three, and four. And you scroll down, it does all the other trays as well. And of course, these trays are four and five. You can also have six. So you can find all of these here and just set them up how you want them. It's always wise to do this just because of how easy it is once you get used to it. The second thing is you always want to separate your weapon firing from any of your buff keybinds. So to do this, you could have your fire weapon set to one. Um, that's one on the keyboard. If you have a mouse with extra buttons and they are registered by the game, you could have your fire weapons on a button that's where your thumb is, for example. I have buttons 1 to 6 on my mouse, so I have fire all weapons, fire all phases on 1, and my torpedoes on 2, so I can separate out torpedoes and, and phases. So if I want, if I have a torpedo spread, and I have a torpedo and the rest of my ship is cannons, for example, I can not have to fire a torpedo until my spread is ready, and when my spread is ready, I can then press 2, and I'll guarantee to fire torpedoes when I want to, and they won't be on cooldown because I've already fired them. So this is something else to bear in mind, is separating out your weapons. Now we'll move on to the actual keybinds themselves. So this is the keybind file. This is an app that you can download. Uh, the website is now listed on here, and will be down in the description below as a link. This is the website, FES, and if you scroll down to the bottom, I agree and download. The website link can be found in the description below the video and it's here on screen for you as well. If you uh, can't find that for any reason, just type in STO keybinds into Google, it will be the top search function. Now that we're in the keybind application, we need to set up our key. So the first one we're going to do is our spacebar keybind. So what we do is we go to master set and add a key. You'll now see it says none under the master set. We want to input our key, so we find our key. And of course this can be done for any button, it doesn't have to be spacebar. Uh, as well as you can set up other ones with this as well. These are macro keybinds, so they will activate multiple things at once instead of just single abilities. So now we have our spacebar, we now want to add an action to the spacebar. So we hit add new activity. Now we've got the action, we need to put the activity and we're going to execute a full tray. Now obviously you can do partial trays, execute a slot in a tray, you can fire all cannons and beams, fire all torpedoes and mines at once, fire all weapons, which I highly recommend you don't do, but you can set up ones for ground, as well as many other small things within here. There's lots of keybinds that you can set up for both PvP and PvE. So have a look down the list and see what you can set up, but I'm just going to go over the basics today. So our activity is going to be execute full tray. Now we're going to pick tray 10 so it's out the way. It's going to be the final tray on the list. It's not one that's used in keybind on the in-game keybind, so it's not going to interrupt with any other tray. We can also keep tray 10 out the way, and we can set up, if you don't even want tray 10 visible for your space bar, but you still want to see the cooldowns, you can set those up in a different tray out the way, so you can just see them off in the corner. Now we've got execute full tray. You can add more to the spacebar if you want to, but I don't recommend it. If you want to set up the shift spacebar, obviously you will have to go into spacebar, but set up the shift spacebar key function. Now, how do we put this into game? What we do is we click the create bind file. What this will then do is create a chat command, a bind load file. Copy to clipboard, which is basically copy and paste and return back to game. Now that we're in game, we can now copy and paste our keybind file into chat and press enter. I have a different uh, keybind set up, so I'm going to not copy and paste that into my chat, chat my chat, because I have to redo it. But just hit spacebar and it will set to the keybind 
to your files. Another bit of key binding help that could help is if you're flying a torpedo boat, such as here, which I have a torpedo boat, it's my new character. If you're flying all torpedoes, you want to individually select which torpedoes you fire. Or, if you're running something like Concentrate Firepower where torpedoes need to be spammed and you can't individually uh, fire all those weapons, what you can do is set to spacebar, not your buffs, but instead your torpedoes. So I've just dragged and dropped with the right mouse button my torpedoes into tray 10 and now my spacebar fires all of my torpedoes. Something else you can also do if you want to individually fire, so you want a certain torpedo to be high yielded or spread, you can set to your tray 1 certain torpedoes that you're going to spread in high yield. So for example, if I wanted to fire my enhanced biomolecular only with high yields, and I wanted to fire my neutronics only with spreads, I could drag and drop these into under my spread and high yield into tray 1, and set into my key binds that this is going to be one is going to be fire this torpedo and two on my mouse is going to fire that torpedo so i can be pressing spacebar firing all my torpedoes but then when i want to individually fire when it's ready i can then load the high yield and press two to fire my uh, enhanced biomolecular instead of having to individually click the torpedo itself so that's something to bear in mind for any torpedo users out there and that's it ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions on keybinds please leave comments down in, in below, I'm happy to help. And uh, hopefully this has been informative for you for any of your future adventures. Please make sure to, like, uh, to leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you have enjoyed. I'll see you all on my stream which is on 5.30 GMT on Mondays and Fridays on twitch.tv slash I'll see you all in the next video guys, have a good one.